welcome back. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video. If you didn't see it, clicky clicky over here to go check it out. Anyways, welcome to day two. So today I decided that I'm going to do my top 20 Paramore songs. Yeah! Emma Black did a video on her top 20 placebo songs and I was like, oh my god, what's my favorite band? I am Paramore trash. If you know me personally, if you know me in general, you know that I am such a Paramore trash can boy. So <laughs> this is actually really difficult making a list of my top 20 Paramore songs because I was like, Jesus Christ. I was like, this is like deciding between children. So I wrote it down on a list and let's get started. Let's go. So at number 20, we have Feeling Sorry, which is such a good song. Every single time I listen to Feeling Sorry, it gets me so hyped. I'm just like, oh, I love that song. Honestly, I want them to write another song like that. <laughs> it just gets me really hyped. That song puts me in such a good mood. I don't know why. It's just so good. At number 19, I have Another Day. Such an underrated song. Paramore demos slash their earlier stuff. It's so good. It's so good. I like I'm shook. Um, it's such a good song. Oh my god, another day is just so good. So yeah, it's so underrated. Their demos are really good. I suggest you check them out. The next song is Hello Hello, which is another underrated song, which is also I think one of their demos, or is it their previous band song? I'm not sure, but it's so good. Hello Hello is probably my favorite one, besides Swim in Silence, but it didn't make the list. I don't know why. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa is such a good song. Did I ever tell you that I'm shit at explaining things? So yeah, um, I suggest that you go listen to it because it's fucking amazing. Then we have Careful. Oh my god, Careful brings back so many memories. Um, back in the day when I was like 13 years old, my best friend at the time and I used to go to her house and it would always be on a Kerrang and we would just like dance. We'd have like this mini fucking dance off um, along to Careful by Paramore and that song brings back so many memories of when I was like 12 slash 13. It's such a good song. It's very powerful and I love it and the singing is amazing and everything else is amazing and just <gasps> I love it. God, I'm so jealous of everyone who got to hear it live, honestly. If you have heard Careful Live, I hate you. <laughs> Next is Born For This. It's such an amazing song. Boy, it gets me hyped. Like, all the Paramore songs get me hyped, but this song, it's just, when I listen to it, I'm like, damn, I'm ready to take over the world, man. I don't know, it puts me in a really good mood as well. I don't know. That song motivates me for some reason. I don't know why, it just does. <laughs> then we have Emergency. Emergency live intro is one of the best things I have ever heard. That piano part, which I taught myself to play on piano, mm, proud. It's everything, man, it's everything. Go listen to it, you know what? <laughs> Finish watching this video, go into your little search tab, type in Paramore Live Emergency Riot, I think it's called, and listen to it. <sighs> My, oh, I can't, it's amazing. Uh, Emergency is such a good song, honestly, it's amazing. Take a shot every time I say that. <laughs> then we have, this I couldn't really decide. I. Next up is Let the Flames Begin slash part two, but I kind of merged them in together because to me, they kind of count as one song, like a one really long song, because part two is part two of Let the Flames Begin, which is amazing. The outro to part two, it's everything. Oh my God. I remember when uh, Paramore, in like 2012 before their album came out. I remember when they were touring again and they played, it used to be called the monster outro because they would always play the outro of part two when they did monster live. And I remember hearing it and I was like, oh my God, that sounds amazing. I hope it's on the album. And I remember when I got their self-titled album, I was listening to it and I was listening to part two and I was like, Jesus, that outro sounds really familiar. And then she started singing and I was like, oh my God, it's the monster outro. Oh my God, it was just, it's one of my favorite things they've ever done. <laughs> things, songs, outros. Up next we have Decode. It's like, just, how can you not like that song? I mean, come on, putting Twilight aside, that song is freaking amazing. Then we have Last Hope. This song, I barely listen to Last Hope because this song makes me cry. <laughs> this Paramore song gets me very 
emotional. I don't like it's just everything about that song hits me. Uh, I rarely listen to it. I barely listen to Last Hope. I love it so much, but I barely listen to it because if I listen to Last Hope, I'm gonna cry waterfalls. Up next we have Renegade. Such a good song. Oh my god, once again gets me hyped, puts me in such a good mood, and I'm um, oh Renegade is fucking great man. Go listen to all of these songs. Up next we have For a Pessimist, I'm pretty optimistic. I can play the song in the recorder. of the family. <laughs> I would play the rest but honestly that is the worst instrument sound I've ever heard. Up next is Monster. Monster brings back so many memories from like 2011 slash 12 for myself for me personally and it's just such a good song. I love it so much. I remember um, I remember when they released a preview, like a small little sneak peek of Monster, and I was like, so excited. I was counting down the days when they would release the uh, Monster music video. It's so damn good. It's one of my favorite Paramore songs, and oh! Up next we have I Caught Myself. Such an underrated song. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, I feel like I Caught Myself is... So, it's such an underrated song. No one talks about it. Everyone's like, oh yeah, ain't it fun? Oh my god, yeah, the only exception. Um, yeah, I caught myself. It's a masterpiece. Go listen to it. It's freaking amazing. Why is no one talking about it? Proof. Such a good song. Oh my god, it's just, it's, it's great. That's all I'm gonna say. It's great. They have, then we have Tell Me It's Okay. Relatable. Could relate to this song a lot, actually. Um, especially the line where she says, uh, I wasted all of my teenage years being a misery factory. I was like, oh my god, me. Um, it's a really, really good song. And I'm really um, confused that it didn't make it in the actual album. What? Why isn't it on the album? It's like, you can, uh, what? <laughs> I'm confused. Then we have Conspiracy, an amazing song. I love it. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Then we have Decoy. Oh my god, the lyrics are crack right um they're intense but i love deep voice so much it puts me in like all of paramore songs put me in a good mood but this song it's just i love it i love her voice i love how every the me oh i love everything about decoy it's wonderful then we have word lines overlap no what it's as lucky as us. Uh, Where the Lines Overlap is one of my favorite Paramore songs. Oh my god, I love it so much. I listen to this song all the time. Like, Where the Lines Overlap is probably the most played song in my phone right now, in my music playlist, because oh my god, it's my favorite Paramore song. It's so good, it's so like catchy, and oh my god, I'm so jealous of everyone that's heard it live. Like, mm, I hate you. And up first, we have Future. Was that 20? I don't know. I lost count. Future. Future is my favorite. If I had to pick between all of these songs, I would pick Future because Future is my all-time favorite song. I could relate to it a lot. Uh, it hits me in the feels. It does make me very sad, but not as sad as Last, last Hope for some reason. Um, it's amazing. It's just, it's a masterpiece, especially the live version. Oh. My God, blessed. <laughs> so yeah, those were my top Paramore songs. I do love every single song they've ever made. I'm just like, the only song I don't like is Turn It Off. I don't know why. I just don't like Turn It Off. For some reason, I've never been able to get into that song. That's the only Paramore song I don't like. But those are like my top picks. And this is really hard. And yeah, let me know your favorite top Paramore songs. Um, the, my first ever Paramore song I've heard actually was Crush, Crush, Crush back in like 2008. So yeah, what was your first Paramore song? What was your first Paramore album? Do you even like Paramore? Um, are you excited for the new album? Because bitch, I'm buzzing. Um, <laughs> Have you ever seen Paramore Live? And what are your top Paramore songs? Let me know and I will answer to your comments. And we're gonna have a massive fangirl session in the comments. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! No one is as lucky as us. You're dead, but we already won!